You know what? I've, I've been thinking about making a video on this subject for a long time. And a YouTube friend of mine, Jose Saprisa, sent me a photo. And for some reason, he thinks I could do a better job putting this particular photo information out than he could. Eh, I'm not so sure about that. He does a pretty good job on his videos. His English lacks a little, but you know what? He he's, gives it a good try, and he does a good job on his videos. You should check him out. And anyway, so I've been wanting to do this anyway, so this is a good opportunity. I want to show you something here, what he he sent over to me. And uh, it's it's got to bring something to mind to all of us. Now, I, I know all about pareidolia and how, you know, things can look like something. You can see faces in clouds. We all know that. But I'm going to tell you what. There comes a time when coincidence is just, it can't be used. The word coincidence can't be used anymore. And pareidolia seems to lose its touch. How, how many of these rocks have we seen out there that look like animals? A lot of them. But I'm going to tell you what, what I find interesting is every time you find a rock that looks like an animal, shaped like him, you know, you can, oh look, there's some ears and there's some legs. Well, not only that, but some of them, a lot of times they have the tail, the ears, the legs. And I'm going to tell you what most of them have is eyes, nose, and a mouth along with it. Now, how long, how many of these can you see? They'd have ears, eyes, nose, and mouth, a body and legs, before you have to say, wow, these are some strange rocks on this planet Mars. God must have uh, just been playing a joke up there when he made Mars and made all the rocks look like animals because he knew life couldn't live up there. So he just uh, made rocks, shape, you know, put heads on side of cliffs and human heads and alien heads and made the rocks look like chickens and dogs and birds and uh, put little eyes and noses on them and just so that later on when we put cameras up there we could go wow look at that now, that don't make much sense to me now Jose sent this photo over to me but he also did an enhancement of a section of it there and uh, I'm going to show you this, what he what he was looking at. Now, this is what he's pointing out to me in his video, which looks like a, I don't know, maybe a turtle head to me behind a rock, or maybe the software took and just jimmied that all up. It could have been anything. But the one that's really interesting... to me is right here now he squared off a section there that I think he should have made his square a little bit bigger because I'm gonna tell you what I see here first let me finish out what Jose wanted wanted you to look at here now there he's when, when he sent me these he said Monty I see dogs and I agree with him. So do I. And I think the software that NASA uses to turn them into rocks also manipul manipulates the pictures. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the original that he sent over. Because there's a lot more there that he didn't even point out. First of all, look at this cute little doggy face here. Now, I don't care. Look at it. It looks like a little doggy face. Well, what are the odds of having another little doggy face right next to it? Now, I got to tell you, what I find more interesting in the faces is is what these two little critters are doing or these two little rocks or whatever you want to call them and apparently I'm not the only one 
because it looks like there's another little critter here that's far more interested in what they're doing than I am. Now, if these are all rocks, this rock here is looking pretty intently at what's going on there, if you ask me. And not only does this rock have a, two eyes and a nose and a mouth and some legs and a tail, but he's staring right at these other two. And I'm sure he's wondering if they're just playing or is there some hanky-panky going on there. Well, I can't answer that question. Only, only the ones involved know that. But there's more interested parties than just that guy looking at him. There's another little animal down here that seems intently interested in what's going on up there. Now, I know that for those that have sharper eyes than I do, there's all kinds of other stuff going on in this in this photo here <laughs> there's all kinds of things to look at there's anomalies everywhere but this video is about the ones that have eyes nose and mouths mainly and sometimes the whole body attached you know another thing I think that's happening on Mars up there is there's I think there's a lot of statues that have just been blown apart either either through their wars or whether it's uh, meteorites hitting the place and blowing things up but always finding stuff that just looks like it used to be part of a statue like this bird head or whatever it is here and you notice there's the eye and the mouth well that's about all you can get on a bird but it looks like a bird head to me and uh, you can even see the pupil of the eye there So it could be a part of a statue, or it could be that the software they use just takes that off a bird somewhere and moves the head over somewhere else so it's unrecognizable. I don't know. There is software that'll do that. You can download apps on your phone that you can play all kinds of, you can take a video on your phone and play all kinds of tricks with it, make people disappear, make them look different and everything. So the software is out there, and trust me, uh, most of that kind of software came from the military anyway, before it was released to the public. Anything you get your hands on goes through them before you get it. I'm going to make a more comprehensive video on this, that, but I'll have to go way back through my stuff and, you know, pull up a lot of pictures to make a better point than what I'm making now. But... I want to thank Jose for sending this photo over and get me started on this project. And before I go, I want to show you that they can even take a chicken walking around on Mars and turn it into a rock. <laughs>